Okay, this is video part two of the book sale. I went back to the local library book sale and 5.30 on Friday night they had $5 a bag. It was not really advertised as such, but walked in and $5 a bag. So that was really pretty awesome. Uh, the $5 bag was mainly for Saturday, but I guess if you were happened to be one of the late shoppers on Friday, they decided to do that. And I kind of knew about that via the web, but it was not on the flyer. So that uh, saved me a lot of cool time and money. So I'm going to show you what you have. So if you're a fan of books, or you're a fan of the 80s, you're a fan of just everything kind of uh, um, historical or what have you, uh, then I will show you just about every type of book that we have here. Uh, no romance novels in this lot here. So I'm just going to clear a spot here and show you some books. Um, not, many of these are not for me or for other people, but um, we'll get to it here. So I went to the kids book section first and those were some of the thinnest books which took me a long time to fill my bag and this is The Secret Adventures of Foxfire Busting Walls by John Hope and why did I grab this? Not only because it's in really good condition but it is autographed by John Hope in 2018 I believe that says right there. I don't get my shadow out of the way. John Hope. So there's that one. And the next book here we have here, some of these all need a little bit of cleaning here. That I've never seen this before, The Better Homes and Gardens Junior Cookbook. I think it's dated 1971 or 72, uh, maybe even 70. And then I can just get a sense of the date here, the age here of the book. Let me show you the picture here. So that's 1972, so you can get an idea of the kids from that book there. It's pretty old. It's not valuable, but I just, you know, when you get to the end of your bag and you want to fill it up, then you just throw about anything you can in there to squeeze in there. Unfortunately, this book is super damaged right here, and I did not know that, but for $5, this is the League Extraordi uh, from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Nemo and the Roses of Berlin. So that would be a good read there. I'm glad to pick that one up. I won't keep it. If I really like that, I'll get a new copy of it. This is pretty neat. This is an ex-library, though. This is uh, Kids Draw Anime by Christopher Hart. So I thought that was a cool book to pick up here. Um, so, sorry, it's hard to see there. We can move that back a little bit, and there we go. Um, just to show you one page, because I've got so many books here to show you. Uh, so that's what it looks on the inside. So that's pretty neat. Next book here is Laura Ingalls Wilder Country. And this is the actual places and landmarks of all the places that she visited at or in or I mean that have through the travels and, and through the book and all that so that's neat okay so let me grab to the bag here okay we gotta go faster here because there's just I haven't even got into the bag yet uh, here's Beavis and Butthead's encyclopedia put them over here Benji sticker and stamp book from like 1980 and a lot of the stickers are still unused in the back here this is something that like Weird Paul on YouTube would probably collect here. I just remember and really enjoying Benji when I was a kid. I think Joe Camp is still alive, but um, anyway, I haven't had a chance to write him uh, questions and answers about weather. So there's that one. I think it's Joe Camp. Uh, let's see here, Star Wars Return of the Jedi book without the cassette. Pretty neat. There's a vintage book called Pun Fun, probably from the 70s. Some of these authors I'll look up here. Uh, it's Halloween by Jack Perlutsky. Uh, that's an author I've been trying to find his address for. I, I, I thought I had it, but I think it came back return to sender. I never sent it. I don't know if anybody has his address or gives me an idea about him. I've got a couple books uh, that I'd like to have uh, book plates for. Uh, here's the Pearl Harbor story from 1971. This is not that old, but this is like an old 1960s. 1967 edition, so that's kind of a cool uh, uh, souvenir book here. Here's uh, John D. Rockefeller, His Life and Times in Ormond, Florida, um, by Alice Howell. If President Michael is watching, you might like to have that book. It's autographed by uh, Alice Howell, um, so that's neat. I might send that, we'll see. This is probably the coolest one that I found here. Um, this is American Heroes by Ollie North. Um, it's one of those kind of mass marketed picture books, you know, but it is autographed by Oliver North right there. And there is some sticker on the front saying that it's a signed book. If you wish to thank Russell, yeah, I can't, uh, something, I'm not exactly sure what all that was. It's all scratched up to heck there, that sticker there, but it's an, sorry, authentically signed book by, uh, 
um, Oliver North. Uh, Jerry Frank's Where to Find It, Buy It, Eat It in New York, uh, 18th edition. He's a local um, celebrity, and it says, To Joyce, my best uh, Jerry Frank, or Gary Frank. I, I call him Jerry, but I think it's Gary Frank. Um, it could be a... Uh, here's the Haynes Guide, Yellowstone National Park. I may have had this book before, or I may still have it, I don't know, this is 1967. It's kind of a neat, or I mean 64, it's a neat old historical book on Yellowstone. And that was in the travel section. One Watch by Richard Dankleff. And this is, of course, autographed. It's one of those kind of uh, little uh, private press type books. There it is, Off Watch. It's poems, I believe. Um, here is the Simpsons comics, a bleach blanket bongo. Really in trashed condition, but I'm going to read that and get rid of it when I'm done. Here's the Oregon Bicycle Rules uh, of the Road from the 1970s. Really cool book there. You can get a sense by the cartoons and the pictures, artwork in there. It's definitely 70s, probably like 76, 74, I don't know, something like that. Um, there's that one. Then we have uh, Anne McAlpin, Pack It Up, The Essential Guide to Organized Travel. Includes a free packing DVD. Oh, packing material, perhaps. And then it says two... Uh, Sue, Happy Travels, um, Anne, I think is it, Anne, Anne McAlpin. There were two different uh, versions of this book and only one was autographed. Somebody found a book the other day that was Happy, or Happy Trails or something. I'm not sure who signed it, or they think it was signed. And they were flipping through it. I didn't get to see the whole thing, but um, they bought that book, so I didn't get to see who that was. Uh, Sweat, Soul Sweat and Survival on the Pacific Crest Trail. It's kind of a beat-up book, but I like to read books on the uh, uh, PCT at Pacific Crest Trail, and I might be able to find out where Bob Holtel is. Uh, this one's cool. When Babe, when Willard met Babe Ruth, illustrated by Barry Moser, Donald Hall. So that's kind of cool. It's a school book, a school type textbook. There, uh, Crowfoot Elementary of Lebanon, Oregon. They had two copies of that. Here's the Littles, which was an awesome TV program. They were just little people. And um, they were always escaping uh, people, and there was a. So if you know the story, well, then that's um, your. Uh, I, I couldn't explain it in the amount of time I have. Here, Snoopy blasts off a Peanuts book by Charles Schultz, in cooperation with NASA. And there's a cool um, 3D International Space Station that flips up in the middle there, and some other little, little tiny little tiny tiny little book. So I didn't have that for my Snoopy collection. Who Framed Roger Rabbit a Different Tune. So that's awesome to have. That's probably circa 1989. Here's a really awesome one. Uh, Henry's Awful Mistake by Robert Quackenbush. But it's, uh, fortunately somebody has uh, colored on every single page. And there's some gross stuff that I'll clean it up. And maybe I'll get a better copy. I just wanted to remember that. That's just kind of a bookmarker. Uh, this is called Living Proof. Sergeant M. Klebe McClary. Clabe or Clabe McClary, USMC, First Recon Platoon, 1967-68, uh, Vietnam. And forward by Tom Landry. I don't know if it's the, the Tom Landry, but forward by Tom Landry. And um, here's uh, to Maggie uh, in his grip. Uh, Clabe uh, uh, McClary. And then it probably says Semper Fi right there. So that's cool. And there he is. Isn't that neat? It's cool. Simon Cowell, I don't mean to be rude, but shut up. <laughs> I used that in my last video or so. I just bought that as a joke. The five little peppers and how they grew. Oh, my snack's getting cold, so I better hurry up. I got another 50 more books. The Family Under the Bridge. I think it's a Newbery Award or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, here's Animal Inn, Scaredy Cat. Ten Christmas Tales. These are kids' books for other people. And nothing's fair in fifth grade. If you remember any of these books, here's A to Z Mysteries, A Deadly Dungeon. Um, here's uh, Panky and William. We have Goodbye My Wishing Star. And I don't know anything about these, but I was kind of running out of time. On the best Christmas pageant ever. Here's The Clues Kids, The Case of the Gumball Bandits, that's circa 1990. Here's Icky Squishy Science. 
we have Encyclopedia Brown sets the pace. I may have been actually looking for that one. It's not in great condition, but I like these old Apple paperbacks with the different artworks and stuff. That's really cool. Here's Nancy Clancy Super Sleuth. I'm not sure if I've given that. I've found that one before or not. This is a strange one. Don't get caught in the girls' locker room. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that book, but don't get caught. Oh, ten more books here. Hardy Boys Deadly Chase. The Hardy Boys, um, the Mummy Case. I used to have this, um, a lot of this uh, design on my Hardy Boys book, so that was cool. The Bobsy Twins, Adventure in the Country. It's put together like an old uh, Hardy Boys type novel uh, book there, hardbound. We're getting there. We've got Andy and Tamika. Too Many Murphys, whatever that is. Sounds like a TV show. Here's The Cat from Outer Space by Ted Key. So that's cool. Here's a Night of the Living Yogurt. I just thought my nephew might like that one. Uh, the Canterwood Crest Super Special. My niece would like that one. Last but not least is we have The Little Red Lighthouse and The Great Gray Bridge. So that was uh, $5 for all of that stuff. I'm absolutely exhausted. So I'm going to have a snack and a Pepsi and I will post this when I get a chance and hope you got some enjoyment out of some of that I'm glad I got a few autographs again they were really few and far between the autographs I didn't grab were either too tiny or they were too to uh, the inscription was mixed in it or they only used their first name or what have you and uh, hope you enjoyed that and thank you